Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my very first craft project of the Christmas season. I'm so excited. So I decided to make myself a porch sign for Christmas. I found this wall cling at Walmart and I thought it would be perfect for this project. It went together quick and easy so I'm just going to hop right in and show you how I did it. To get started on this project, I cut two 1 by 12 pine boards 5 feet long, and then I cut four sections of a 1 by 4 into 20 inch pieces. I laid the two 5 foot sections on the floor, lining up the ends nice and straight, and then I placed pieces of the 1 by 4 both at the top and the bottom, and then I centered the remaining two in between. To attach the boards, I used a drill bit to make a pilot hole, making sure that I drilled all the way through the top board and into the one below it. I then installed two screws to hold it in place. I then proceeded to the opposite side of the 1x4 and attached the second board the same way. I repeated this process with the remaining three 1x4s as well. When I was done attaching all the boards and I propped it up, it looked like this. It was then time to give the whole thing a coat of paint. I'm using a semi-gloss interior paint that is in a satin finish. You could use chalk paint, any kind of paint you want will work for this. I ended up giving the whole thing two coats. And then onto the fun part. I found this wall art in the Christmas section at Walmart and I scooped it up because I thought it looked so vintage and I think this is gonna be so much fun. It comes in two big sheets like this which I went ahead and cut the big pieces out into little manageable sizes. I then took those pieces and laid them out on the board where I wanted to place them. These are like window clings, but they're made to go on walls. So you just peel off the backing, you position it where you want them to go, and then you just press them down. It is super simple. So I continue to add pieces one at a time, working from the bottom of the board all the way up to the top. It went together very nicely and I really didn't have too much of a problem attaching these. I thought it might be sort of difficult, <laughs> but it wasn't. The final step was to take some fine grit sandpaper and distress the edges of the board. And with that done, my project was complete. So here is a look at the finished project. Isn't it adorable? It has that great vintage vibe to it, which I love so much. And it was super quick and easy to make which is always a plus. In all honesty, I am not sure how this is gonna hold up to the cold weather that we have here in Minnesota. I'm a little afraid that the plastic is just gonna sort of curl up, but for now it seems to be doing just fine, so we'll see how it goes. Worst case scenario, I can move it inside. As you can see, I have it sitting out by my front door right now and I think it looks awesome. I added a few things around it to finish off the display, starting with this bucket that I found at Walmart. I think it is so cute. I added some clippings from my trees and my dogwood plants and then the birch logs are from my mom. And then I added this little pair of ice skates my girls used to use along with a bucket full of wood. Kind of make it look like you can bring it inside and put it in the fireplace. On my front door I have this vintage wreath which I absolutely adore. It's just one of those plastic ones that's very old but I think it is just awesome. And all together, I think it makes a lovely display for the holiday season. I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what you think. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye now.